What is up, everybody? This is Trent with Salic Magazine here with Topeka Wolves, Gage and Phil. How you guys doing today? Good, man. How are you? Pretty good. Doing well. Awesome. So, uh, you guys, I guess this is the unofficial official kickoff with your tour of your tour with Islander, and he is legend who is not playing here tonight. Uh, it's just you guys and Islander. So, uh, hey, what are you guys looking forward to that tour and stuff? It's a pretty big one. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see he's legend every night and meeting the Islander dudes and the Bad Seed Rising people. Uh, yeah, should be fun. Ready to go to Seattle, <laughs> Pacific Northwest. Been a while. Okay. What about you? Man, pretty much the same thing. Like, we haven't been to Seattle in like four years or Canada. <laughs> We've been to Canada. Yeah. So. yeah it's about five years since Canada, huh? All right, awesome. So you guys have a new album coming out fairly soon. I, th I believe you guys have it on sale, you know, on tour and stuff as well. So uh, talk about that a little bit, the name, where it comes from. I think we talked about that a little bit in Atlanta, how, how much dark, how, how dark it is, the theme, the different kinds of styles of sounds on it. And with a couple singles that are out now, you can really hear that whole, like, horror theme that you were talking about and stuff. So, like, uh, yeah, just spill the beans now that the album is actually about to drop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it comes out July 21st. It's called Dead in the Shadow on Solid State Records. Um, we, uh, we thought of that. Um, just kind of, what do we say about that? I, <laughs> uh, it's like dead in the shadow. It comes, it's like, comes like your shadow is always connected to you. There's always like some, something that's kind of haunting or your past, like whatever, that's always kind of connected to you, you know? And, uh, you know, you can't have your shadow, you can't have like, you know, you can't have a shadow without light, so it's kind of like this balance of that and like hurt and those kinds of things, you know what I mean? So it's all kind of wrapped up into one like unsettling record. <laughs> okay, now uh, you guys are back on Solid State and everything. Uh, your EP you dropped last year, New Bones, was not with Solid State. So uh, what was it like with this relationship the second time around, getting back with them? Versus when you guys were with them a couple of years ago, when you put out your like first couple of records with them and all that. Man, it's it's awesome. It's uh, it kind of has always felt like home to us anyway, because we we did a couple of records with them before, but um, it's a little bit different now. They uh, they've I think they they bought the label back from the major that was that owned a portion of it, or that's what we were told anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, everything is just a lot more hands-on now like it we talk to our A&R guy every day you know like things are happening all the time and um, you know back in the day it was it was great too it was just different you know a lot of times it would take a little while to get answers on things or or you know there were a lot of pe a lot of hands things would have to pass through and now they've got a I think a smaller more efficient team and everything seems to be working really well so we're, we're really happy with everything it's been great so far so we literally get to do whatever we want now. <laughs> like, honestly, we're just like, we want to do this. We're like, all right, sounds good. And so we're like, oh, really? Like, yeah. kind of something we're not used to, you know? But, like, even on Cardigan, Cardigan was awesome yeah. to uh, Shane over there. Just, like, rad dude and all his bands and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's been it's been really cool to jump back in it with Solid State, you know? Okay. Has the marketing been a little different? Because it seems like you guys are getting a pretty good push this go around versus, you know, Back in the day, you guys were, I guess, a tiny band on the label and stuff. And now it's like you guys are, you know, being promoted on various podcasts. You know, I heard heard the ad on the Bad Christian podcast. I heard, I saw like the banner on their Facebook, the, the Solid State Facebook page. So like marketing wise, like what are you guys trying to do? Like you weren't able to do before when it was owned by somebody else. Uh, it's simple money. There's just more money being put into it. I mean, that's how that's how it works. That that's the business side of bands. I feel like a lot of bands think they're like, well, it's. It's funny because you always hear it's who you know. It's always who you know in the music business, which, which, which is true. But it's like you have to know people that have a lot of money that'll put money into your record and they'll put money into, uh, you know, promoting it and, and ads and those things. And it's like, and I think that was one of the things we told Solid State. We're like, hey, just dump money into, into, into ads. You know what I mean? Was that like in promotion stuff? Phil does all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Talk about that. You're the marketing guy. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. But, no, it's been awesome. I mean, Tyson over there is the head of marketing. He's doing an awesome job. And, I mean, almost every day some random person that I haven't talked to in forever is like, hey, I uh, saw an ad for your record on some random article I was reading online today. So they're, they're crushing it. I mean, like, you know, I think just compared to, you know, even a few years ago, 
you know, social media advertising and stuff like that is so much easier now than it used to be, and it's really effective. I mean, it works. I mean, it seems like it works anyway, but yeah, they're really good at it, and and um, I've been really happy with all the ads that we've seen and, and all the feedback we've gotten, and um, you know, that was something that we talked about, I think, on the last record, like, you know, in 2012, the record before this, we were like, man, don't don't do any magazine ads. Let's do all online ads, because, I mean, I love magazines, and I love, you know, I'll go to Barnes and Noble and read, you know, read whatever, you know, when it comes out. But I, uh, I mean, you spend your whole life on your phone and on online now, you know, so it's just such an easier way to push something and it's definitely more cost effective, but yeah. Okay. Um, speaking of the marketing aspect and stuff, you know, obviously digital is in now, you know, people, I guess when 2012, when your last album came out, people were on solid state, people were still, you know, buying physicals and that kind of thing. So what is the focus now with uh, the pre-sales and trying to get it in people's hands? Like, what do you think that is the best way possible for people to get your music? That'd be the most beneficial to you guys. Um, yeah. I mean, the best way that you can help us as a band when buying the record is, is, uh, you know, either at a show or, or order it off solid state's website or iTunes Amazon, Google Play, whatever, anything like that helps us out more than you could possibly know. Especially the first week, I'm sure tons of people have heard that, but the first week means a lot, especially a band our size. But um, yeah, anything, man, like buy it if you can afford it. If you can't, stream it on Spotify or Apple Music, that helps us too. Um, come to a show and hang out. You know, those things help us out more than we could ever say. Okay, okay so uh, what are the plans you guys have coming up? I guess for the fall, if you can talk about that, because, you know, Islander, his legend, is a pretty big tour and stuff, so I have a feeling you guys have some other stuff in the works and all that, so uh, what can you guys talk about so far? Well, we're opening the Brimmy Horizon tour, and no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, we don't have, we have, a, we have a f some festivals, some more festivals, and then, um, and then we're just kind of working on some stuff for the fall right now, so... Um, Andrew has back issues, so we're gonna take a couple weeks off after this tour, so he can go home and kind of heal up for a while. Right. So, but other than that, it's kind of it. We're just trying to get back on the road as much as possible, you know. Do yeah, those uh, first week sales kind of impact what you guys are doing this fall, or is that? Yeah, yeah, for sure they will. Um, so, I don't think a lot of people know exactly how that works or why those are so important. Like the first week and stuff, does that really affect you guys and that with that that much time gap where you drop it in July and. It can impact where you are in October or something. Yeah, it'll definitely it impacts like the rest of our year. You know, it really does. It, it'll it because it just kind of communicates to the label and to management and just you know agents and stuff like that. Like what kind of caliber of tours that they can put you on. You know what I mean? And other bands too. That they're like you know bigger bands that think about wanting to take you out or whatever. You know what I mean? They're like, okay, well, they sold X amount first week, so they're probably worth. X amount of kids, you know what I mean? Like, is it worth bringing them on yeah. in order to, you know, bring that many kids or whatever? So, if that makes sense? That sound like it makes sense? Okay. <laughs> All right, so I got a fun one here and I'll let you guys go. Um, if you guys, if uh, Fearless Records called up your band and asked you guys to do a Punk Goes Disney cover, what Disney song would your band cover? Disney? Man. They got the whole Punk Goes Pop thing, which is pretty awesome and stuff, but if they did a, uh, they did a Disney edition. Which band would you guys cover if you got selected to do that? A Disney song? I don't know, man. I mean, I have no idea. I guess, like, uh, is there a Wally song? Wally's my favorite Pixar movie. I don't think there's a Wally song, though. Wally doesn't sing. Yeah. You'd have to do, like, I don't know, what's the Lion King song? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only other one I can think of right now. With the Elton John song? We'll do that one. Yeah. <laughs> can you feel love tonight? Can you feel love tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're a country fan. If you guys could cover country song, uh, what what country song would you cover? Oh man. If it was a punk goes country. <laughs> punk goes country. Um. Andrew's gonna hate me for this, but no, because Waylon. I think I would want to do Silver Stallion by. Um... Oh my God, I, the name is escaping me. <laughs> uh, God, it has like Johnny Cash. I, how am I not seeing this right now? Uh, he's gonna kill me. Hang on, <laughs> I have to figure it out. They're like one of my favorite bands. Highwaymen, yeah, Highwaymen. How did I not know that? It's like Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson and Johnny Cash, and okay. Chris Christopherson. Oh, super group then. Dude, yeah, it's sick, you know. Okay. But probably something like that. Or we've always thought about wanting to have a Hank Williams 
as a uh, as an intro, one of his songs, like as our intro. Well, those uh, whole like samples were back big back in the day with metalcore and everything. So I mean, yeah. bring those back, a Hank Williams intro or something into like a really heavy part. That'd be pretty dope. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be cool. We'll see, you know. All right. Yeah. Well, is there anything left you guys want to say to people or anything about the record? Or? Um, no. No, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, thanks to everyone for um, already pre-ordering the record and, and uh, listening to all the songs on Spotify and YouTube and all that stuff. And uh, I just really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys here on the He Is Legend run. What about you, Nick? Same. <laughs> Hashtag same. All right, I'm trying with Soundlink and hanging out with uh, To Speak of Wolves today. Thanks for watching, everybody.